we as scientists, we'd love to meet the aliens. I have no problems with this. We just need better evidence than your credible witness. I just need better evidence than your fuzzy video. On a beautiful summer afternoon in 1950, Nobel Prize winning quantum physicist Enrico Fermi was having lunch with his colleagues. Talking about a cartoon published in the New Yorker magazine that depicted a flying saucer on the ground with alien beings coming out of it quite merrily. Accounts from his three colleagues, Konopinski, Edward Teller, Herbert York, all agreed that Fermi asked a question that would go on to become infamous because of its simplicity and its complexity at the same time. The question. Where is everybody? Some call it the Fermi paradox, others the great silence. For the last 60 years, we have been scanning the cosmos in the search of signs that will prove we are not alone in the galaxy. But what if we are looking in the wrong direction when the aliens are roaming in our skies itself? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. In the recent congressional hearing, former U.S. intelligence agent David Grush, retired U.S. Navy Commander David Fravor, and former Navy pilot Ryan Graves, under oath had testified about alien existence. During their testimony, they also revealed the government has made contact with the aliens. Uh, I was informed, in the course of my official duties, of a multi-decade uh, UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program. Now, the famous astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has spoken regarding it. In 2004, naval fighter jet pilots who had taken off from the USS Nimitz nuclear aircraft carrier not just encountered, but also recorded a strange object that has become known as the Tic Tac due to its oblong shape. Years later, the puzzling UFO encounter was revealed by the New York Times, with multiple eyewitnesses stepping forward over the years to describe what they saw. One of three infrared videos, recorded in 2004 and shared by the Times in 2017, shows an odd oblong unidentified object, garnering it the nickname Tic Tac. Lately, fuzzy navy video, right. monochromatic. And so you're telling me that the aliens uh, are only revealing themselves to the Navy. <laughs> in November 2020, in Cornwall, England, a tourist while recording a sunset, captured a glowing UFO moving across the horizon. After coming to a sudden halt, it hovered for a second and shot up the sky, covering 3,000 feet in less than a second, and vanishing. Eyewitness testimony is the lowest form of evidence there is. Look down a small, saw white tic-tac object with a longitudinal axis pointing north-south and moving very abruptly over the water like a ping-pong ball. So when you see people say, this was a Navy pilot who's trained and he's a credible witness for what he saw, uh, you're saying your species check. You're saying that guy is just as much a dumbass as anybody standing on the ground. <laughs> uh, we were primarily seeing dark gray or black cubes inside of a clear sphere. I'm sorry, dark gray or black cubes? Yes, yeah. inside of a clear sphere, where the apex or tips of the cube were touching the inside of that sphere. And that was primarily what was being reported when we were able to gain a visual tally of these objects. And this statement actually matches with two incidents. In one of a kind video from February of 2020, shows an Airbus A320 soaring over Medellin, Colombia, over 30,000 feet in altitude, on a routine flight. The captain is about to experience something strange. As he points his camera out of the window, he sees a metallic looking object flying past in a straight line. If we zoom into it, you can see that it looks somewhat like a cube. Scientists estimated its size to be 10 to 15 feet in diameter. What is really fascinating here is that in 2018, a similar unidentified object was spotted by an F-A-18 fighter pilot. The pilot who took the photo, as well as the other pilot present, spotted the UAP cube hovering at an altitude of approximately 30,000 feet. The debrief said it's possible the UAP in the photo is some kind of military radar reflector or research balloon. 
The organization said it spoke with two defense officials however, and they described it as having flight dynamics uncharacteristic for a balloon. One case out of tens or hundreds of thousands, and it's a weird thing and nobody can explain it, and all of a sudden everybody can explain it. So that's the, I don't know what it is, therefore I know what it is. So, by the way, we as scientists, we'd love to meet the aliens. I have no problems with this. We just need better evidence than your credible witness. I just need better evidence than your fuzzy video. According to another allegation, there's a chance that the US government is, at this very moment, reverse engineering alien technology salvaged from UFOs. In an eyebrow-raising interview, Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett said that he thinks the US government has recovered a craft at some point, and possible beings, alluding to a number of high-altitude balloons that were shut down last month. While the concept of the US government recovering alien tech and subsequently covering it up arguably isn't exactly a new thing, the theory, paired with other allegations, makes one wonder whether belief in UFOs and extraterrestrial technologies are becoming more mainstream than any of us have realized. In interviews, government officials, speaking on condition of anonymity, have said that there are those within the Pentagon who are protecting very interesting information from being released to the public even as others within and outside the Defense Department are trying to bring daylight to this subject of increasing interest. This notion that the government is somehow in control, and no, this is not the case. Let's put some thought into this. There are roughly two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. And each one of those galaxies consists of one million stars, and just our Milky Way, which has 100 to 400 billion stars, and it's highly possible that there exist the same number of planets, orbiting these stars. Then there is the possibility, of a similar interplanetary system to our own, leading to planets with beings identical to us. But why haven't we found them yet? Or coming back to Fermi's question, where is everyone? That if we were being invaded by aliens, you would not need government hearings to establish that fact. That's how I look at it. I, I, there is no understanding of alien visits that has them only visit restricted Navy airspace to be picked up by pilots. And they're fuzzy at that. Meanwhile, we have telescopes parked a million miles away, taking sharp images of gas clouds, you know, millions of light years away. We have rovers on other planets taking pictures of rocks. And you're telling me the best images we have of aliens visiting Earth are these lights? Or these these images that show I, I get, I'm not convinced. We promise to come back to it later, but meanwhile tell us what you think of these UAP hearings in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.